A lot of modern houses nowadays have endless hot water systems. They don't have a tank to store hot water in, they simply heat it up as it flows through the pipe. And you have keypads around the house like this one, so you just punch up the temperature you want, and that's the temperature the water comes out at, which is fantastic, because you can just set the right temperature for your shower and know that's what it's going to be at. Don't have to worry about it. Um, but wouldn't it be cool if instead of doing it manually, this system could be linked to the home computer system so that when you wanted to have a shower, for example, the computer would know who it was and then automatically set the water temperature to the personal preferences for that person. It's actually not that hard. All we need is a spare control panel like this. You can probably get one uh, secondhand off eBay or you can just buy them new. And then what we'll do is rip it apart and connect relays across the button so that we can have the computer simulate pressing the button on the controller. To do that, all we need is a little board called an Arduino board. This particular one's about $40 Australian. Uh, there is some software that you can download from the superhouse.tv website that goes onto this board. Some little read relays. These are worth about 2 or $3 each. These are fantastic things. These are what you use to connect the Arduino to the control panel. Um, and the thing about the read relays is that they are such low power that you can connect them directly to the outputs of the Arduino. You don't need to worry about buffering circuitry or anything. These pull less power than an LED. They're really low power. So grab your screwdriver and let's void the warranty. First thing we'll do is we'll take the control panel apart and um, pop it out. Then we just get those tabs off, it comes apart. Inside we have the actual control panel itself. Take that out of its case. And there we have the guts of the control panel for the um, Infinity Hot Water System. Now on the panel itself it's got the display that shows us the current set temperature. It also has a couple of buttons, and these are the buttons that are visible on the front of the panel. So there's a button for hot, button for cool, and then an on-off button. So what we need to do then is look on the back of the circuit board. Behind the button you'll find two connections, and those are the connections for the button. So all we have to do is connect the relay across those two connections, and we can have the computer simulate pressing the button. Once you've located the connections for the buttons, all you need to do is grab a length of wire for each button, and I've already connected this bit of wire to the output of the read relay, and then simply solder the, the wire onto the two connections. So that's for the temperature up button, this one is for the power button, and this one is for the temperature down button. That's it, we're done. We can now connect that to the output on the Arduino. So what we need for that is a couple of little bits of wire. All I'm going to do for this little crude test is plug it straight into the Arduino board. So for the input on the read relay, we need one piece of wire for ground. We need one piece of wire for the input for the positive side and this is what will come from the Arduino board itself and simply do that for each of the read relays. And there we have it. That's the temperature control panel all ready to connect up to the Arduino. So then all we do is plug in the ground connection for the Arduino, plug in the up button to output 9 we're using for that, the down button to output 10, and the power button to output 11. There we go, so next we just connect up the Arduino to the computer. We upload this little program into the Arduino board. So that's uploading now. 
and it's finished. So the Arduino is now all programmed ready to go and it is connected to the controller. All we need to do now is connect the controller back to the hot water system and we can give it a test. So that we can test everything what I've done is run a little extension lead back to the hot water service. So this is what goes to the main Rinai uh, unit and I've mounted the circuit board back inside the case. So all we need to do now is connect the control board back to the main hot water system. Let's see, yep we've got power on it and the button still works so we can now turn the hot water service on or off, we can adjust the temperature, do all the usual sorts of things from the control panel. But because it's connected to the Arduino we can now also do it from software so let's connect the USB connection up to the Arduino and now from my laptop if I send a command of 1 that's to press the first button which is hot we can see the temperature goes up if I press 2 it goes down and if I press 3 I can turn the hot water system on or off so we now have total control of the uh, hot water system from software.